everyone in today's tutorial I will show you how to make this donut push bin and the finished donut is about three and a half inches in diameter and and about one inches in height for today's tutorial you will need I'm using let's see this one is from I love this yarn brand and it is light tope medium size 4 and this one is uh, acrylic super saver red heart super saver also medium wasted weight yarn number four you will also need a 4.5 millimeter hook scissor yarn needle and two stitch markers to start, we need the brown yarn and make a slip knot. And we will make um, 21 chain. So, one. and 21 now that we have 21 chains what we want to do is remove the hook from this loop and we will insert it to the very first chain All right okay so we insert the hook to the very first chain And we will grab the chain, make sure it's not twisted, turn it, and insert the hook so you will catch the loop up here where we took the hook from. And then we are going to slip stitch to the first. So the first and our last chain will join and chain one and then we'll go back to the very first chain and we will do a single crochet and we're just gonna do single crochet in each of the chain Sorry, I'm grabbing my yarn. Okay. And you will notice we have one more chain here. Our very first chain that we did. So we're just going to insert our hook in there one last time. 
and we'll do a single crochet and we should have 21 single crochet going all the way around okay we just finished round one with 21 stitches and now we're getting to do round two but we're going to go ahead and work on the icing just gonna go ahead and attach my yarn like so and I'm going to go I'm not joining so I'm gonna go ahead and straight to the first stitch and do a single crochet and go back to the first stitch and do one more single crochet and single crochet the next two stitches okay and that is the repeat for round two so two single crochet and that one stitch and one single crochet the next two stitches and we're just going to repeat that all the way around So I will meet you back at the end of round two. So I'm at the end of round two. I have a total of 28 stitches going all the way around. And I'm going to go ahead and work my tail ends here. I'm just going to cut the brown yarn. And I'm just gonna knot the pink and the brown together so that way it's not loose so I'm just gonna leave that at the back now I'm ready to begin round three which is single crochet all the way around so just gonna single crochet here and this is work in continuous round so if you have a stitch marker go ahead and place it on your very first sorry go ahead and place it on your very first stitch or a scrap of yarn will work And for round three, again, we're just going to do a single crochet in each of the stitches. I'm gonna put the end here. Just need one more single crochet. Okay. And a 
at the end of round three we should still have 28 stitches going all the way around and to begin round four we are going to do two single crochet in that very first stitch put my stitch marker back and we're gonna single crochet the next three stitches okay and that is the repeat for round four so I'm gonna show it to you again two single crochet in that one stitch and one single crochet the next three stitches okay so keep repeating that pattern all the way around and I will meet you at the end of round four I am at the end of round four and you have 35 stitches going all the way around to begin round five we're just going to remove that stitch marker and single crochet the first stitch place the stitch marker back and we just single crochet around so we're just going to put one single crochet in every stitch. I will meet you back at the end of round five. Just keep putting single crochet one single crochet in each of the stitches i am back at the end of round five and i still have 35 stitches going all the way around and to begin round six remove that stitch marker and single crochet the very first stitch Place that stitch marker back okay and we're just going to do single crochet around for round six as well Just keep putting one single crochet in each of the stitches and I will meet you back at the end of round six. I just completed round six and I still have 35 stitches going all the way around. And to begin round seven, we're just going to remove the hook and place a stitch marker in this loop so we don't lose our progress and we will grab our brown yarn we are going to attach it to the very first stitch here but we are going to work on the back loops only so insert the hook to the back loops only and yarn over pull through yarn over and do a chain one now we're gonna go back to that same back loop stitch and do a single crochet And we're just going to do single crochet 
back loops only. And don't worry about the pink yarn. Um, we are going to go back. Don't cut it. We're going to go back um, on this later. I just want to finish the donut part and then we'll just finish the icing. Okay. And for this round, we're just going to single crochet back loops only okay and keep putting one single crochet back loops only and I will meet you back at the end of round seven. Okay, I'm at the end of round seven here. Since this last stitch here is coming off of this stitch and I already put a back loop single crochet under that stitch, I am going to skip this stitch up here and I will go straight to the first stitch and do a single crochet and that is the beginning of round eight so for round eight we're just going to do single crochet in each of the chains okay from eight to then we are just going to do a single crochet all the way around four so single crochet all the way around for a total of three rounds And at the end of each round, we should have a total of 35 stitches. So go ahead and do your three rounds of single crochet. I will meet you to begin round 11. Okay, I am back and I just finished three rounds of single crochet. I am ready to start round 11. I'll go ahead and remove my stitch marker. Single crochet the first one. Place my stitch marker back. And single crochet the next two. Single crochet decrease. And single crochet the next three. Okay. And single crochet decrease. And that is the pattern for round 11. So I'm going to show it to you again. Single crochet the next three. And single crochet decrease and you repeat that all the way around and I will meet you back at the end of round 11 all right I just completed round 11 and I ended up putting or decreasing the last two and I ended up with 28 stitches going all the way around and now for round 12 just going to do single crochet the first one and stitch marker back 
and we're just going to do a single crochet around so just put one single crochet in every stitch and I will meet you back at the end of round 12 okay. I've just finished round 12 of single crochet around and I still have 28 stitches going all the way around to begin round 13 we're just going to put one single crochet the first stitch And one single crochet the next stitch and one single crochet decrease okay I'm gonna show it to you one more time single crochet the next two stitches and one single crochet decrease that is the repeat for round 13 so we're gonna single crochet the next two and one single crochet decrease and then you'll just repeat that all the way around and I will meet you back at the end of round 13 okay I've just completed round 13 and I have a total of 21 stitches going all the way around around 14 just single crochet the very first stitch okay. and single crochet around so we're just gonna put one single crochet in every stitch till we reach our stitch marker right now I am ready to cut the yarn so I'm gonna go ahead and leave about 25 to 30 inches um, tail of the brown so we're gonna cut the brown now this time and remove the stitch marker on the brown and we're just gonna slip stitch to the first um, stitch and to the last so that way it's there and then we chain one and pull that tail all the way through to make that knot there now we need our yarn needle and we need stuffing or scrap of yarns. Alright, for this part we're just going to close both of our ends. So just wanna match up both of the ends bring all the tail inside the donut and we're gonna hide it in there and make sure our working yarn for the icing it's still attached to our ball of yarn and I am tangled up here okay all right now we're just gonna whip stitch this donut close these two ends close so 
So we're gonna find where we can match both of the ends here. And we will stuff it as we close. You can use a regular stuffing or scrap of yarn will work. And I'm gonna go in here. It doesn't matter where you start, it just make sure it's lined up to where you want it and just want to bring this here that way we could start our whip stitch and go back to where we started and whip stitch it like that and that is the first two done and then to the next two just wanna And next two. And next two. All right, and now we can step this a little bit so you can use regular stuffing you don't see that bulk up there or you could use you can use with scrap of yarn and just wanna put that all in there. Okay. All right, and then we can close a few more stitches and then we can st stuff again. So, we just work this one. Now we're in the next two. Okay. And we'll work on the next two. Towards you and find the next two. Right. Now I want to go ahead and stuff it some more. So I'm just going to use some scrap here. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this part so you don't watch me do all of this And we can go ahead and close up a few st stitches to get them more. So go ahead and bring the tail in towards you. Find the next two. Okay. 
and find the next two. And you just repeat this process. Um, close a few stitches together. And then stuff the donut. Okay. Now I could stuff it some more until. Whoops. Alright, just keep repeating the process of closing the stitches, a few stitches together. Stuff the donut. It's a pretty long tail there. Okay. All right. Now we can close it some more. and towards you find the next two and whip stitch that close okay and now I wanna stuff it some more and Grab some of this here and just really stuff the donut there. And I want to grab more and whoops, yep, really stuff the donut. Okay. Okay. Think we've got the shape. We just need to close our donut. So just going to thread it back and see here. Bring the yarn towards you. And find the next two, this one, and let's see here, and this one. So we can pull that close there, pull it real tight, bring the yarn here. And pull it tight. Okay, I can actually fit a few more here. Okay. And now I think it is ready to close. Okay. And find the next two. Pull that close. Find the next two. Pull that close. Okay, and actually there was a last one. I just want to overlap it to the very first one we did. That way it is completely 
close. Okay. And there we have a donut closed. And I just want to make a knot somewhere inside here. So that way I know it's not going to come undone. Okay. Oh. Okay. There we go. And that's the knot there. And I just want to weave this back and forth a few times. Go ahead and cut it. Okay, this is my donut so far. Now I am ready to finish. Go ahead and pull that loop up so you could um, put your hook inside that loop. And you can see the very first stitch here, this one right here, not this one, but this one. We're going to do a half double crochet and half double crochet the next one as well. And double crochet in the next and half double crochet the next two okay. and slip stitch the next two one. And two. And we'll just repeat that all the way around for the um the donut dip here. So I'll show you the um how to do the dip again. So half double crochet next two stitches. double crochet the next whoops that is not double crochet so double crochet the next and half double crochet the next two so that's one and that's two and slip stitch the next two and half double crochet the next two one double crochet the next and half double crochet the next two. Oops. Oops. It's not a half double. Half double crochet the next two. So half double crochet and half double crochet and slip stitch. 
the next two. You just repeat that all the way around. I will meet you back to sewing our dip to the donut. I just completed the dip so I have one two three four five total of five dip of the icing here um now I want to leave about 30 inches of tail pull it all the way through Just gonna sew the dip down onto the donut. So let's actually do a invisible join here and then down to the donut. this one you don't have to really have to sew every stitch I'm just gonna do one here when we start the dip okay and then another one here the actual double crochet so that way we'll pull that deep down whoops there we go there we go okay my tail end is getting caught on to everything okay Okay, we're just gonna do this all the way around. I'm just going to do a few on this side. Okay, that's down there. And one on here. and I'm just gonna slip stitch or go into that dip there and pin that down onto the donut okay all right you do this all the way around till your dip it's attached to the actual donut or your icing <laughs> is attached so um go ahead and keep sewing the icing down and I will meet you back once I have mine done there we go. And now we have our icing sewed or attached to the donut. And now I'm going to go ahead and weave this in back and forth so it won't come undone.
and that is the icing done and that is your finished donut push bin I went ahead and add some straight push bin onto my yellow donut if you like this tutorial please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already I do crochet tutorial every week and don't forget to hit that bell notification so you won't miss another video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.